All right, in this video, I'd like to show you how to use a really neat feature in Keynote, and that is the Action Builds or the Smart Builds feature. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a brand new uh, Keynote slide deck here. I'll use the gradient theme, get rid of my placeholders here. And so to give you an idea, the, uh, the action that we're going to be using allows you to take multiple images and have them animate in some really interesting ways. Let's go ahead and go full screen here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to bring some images in. Um, so I have some icons over here. These are just some icons of some old Apple uh, hardware devices. And I'm going to select them all and Command C to copy them. And I'm going to go ahead and paste them all right here onto one slide. Okay, so I have all my icons. I think there are eight of them here. And uh, the first thing I want to do is make them a little bit smaller. You don't have to do this, but uh, I, I'd like to just so we can get a better view of them here. So I'm going to select all of these items by either just dragging my mouse and selecting all of them or do command A. And I'm just going to go to my ruler tab in the inspector here and uh, I'm just going to change the, uh, the width down a little bit of all these. Let's go down to about, I don't know, 350 pixels. There you go. Now they're at a more manageable size. Okay. So right now all I have are just a whole bunch of uh, these PNG files with these nice transparent backgrounds. Um, and of course I could use your typical run-of-the-mill builds found here to have these animate etc. Um, but why not use this this great feature that Keynote offers now? And uh, here's how you do it. So again I want to select all my objects. I want to select all of the images that I want to be a part of this animation. I'm just going to do Command A to do that. And I'm in the uh, inspector here and I'm going to go to the, the builds tab which is the yellow diamond here, the third tab in. And instead of choosing a build in or a build out, I'm actually going to go to action. And here you'll see that there's nothing selected right now, but if I pull down the effect menu, I have all of these sorts of actions. Now the first four are uh, allow you to move or uh, change the opacity or rotate or scale the individual objects, but that's not what I want. I want them to all kind of group together and, and animate through. And so that's what these bottom choices are for. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select the first one, Dissolve. And this is a pretty straightforward one. And what you'll notice happened is that all of those images have now been uh, kind of condensed into this one box that Keynote has sized for me. Okay, and what you'll see is I have this little uh, this little information pane which came up, which shows me all of my eight images, and uh, they're actually in a particular order here, which I can change. I will do that in a minute. Um, but first, what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually resize this box. Now, this is the box where the animations are going to take place. So you can just resize it and move it around. I'm going to get it nicely centered here, and uh, so I'll show you what the effect is when I run through these slides. I have my dissolve effect that goes through all of my images which is great because it saves you the trouble of having to make eight separate slides and dissolve through this is all accomplished on one individual slide um, but to be honest the dissolve effect is is nice um, but there's some some really neat effects that we can achieve as well let me show you what flip looks like okay so go ahead and launch this so this one actually takes your image and flips it over to transition from one to the next Again, it's a pretty neat little effect there. Now, uh, one point before I show you the next one. Um, you can actually reorder the images, meaning change the sequence that they will appear in, just simply by dragging and dropping them uh, in this window below here. So, for example, say I want this one to appear first, I can drag it over to number one, and uh, there we go. I actually just took that out by accident, so let me just bring it back in. And uh, I want that to be number one. So there we go. So now that one's going to appear first. Now, as with all builds, you actually have some additional options. For the flip, I can control uh, whether it's left to right, right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top, etc. And that will change the way in which it flips. You can also um, alter how big it gets during the flip. So if you'll notice here, I have it scaling so that um, when the flip happens, it actually gets bigger and then zooms back out. You can also do the reverse. You can have it scale down and be smaller using this slider here. And so this is what a smaller flip would look like. So again, it's a pretty neat effect. Let me show you what else we got here. We have the grid. This one I really like. It actually takes the objects and puts them into a grid. And you can control the uh, how many rows and columns there are. So now I have eight icons. 
So it would be best to do four rows by two columns. Um, yeah, that'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it actually took away some of mine. But uh, you get the idea. I'll show you what this looks like. Um, if you go in, it gives you this neat grid effect where they zoom in and zoom out. And again, you can control the amount of columns and grids, the, uh, the alignment of them within the grid, uh, etc. All sorts of neat stuff there. Let me show you the next one. This is push. Very simple one. I like this one quite a bit. It's very neat and very clean. And again, a lot easier than actually creating a whole bunch of different slides. This accomplishes everything on one slide. Uh, revolve is nice. It's almost like a, a revolving door. Okay. And shuffle. This is like shuffling a deck of cards. So it takes them all and treats them like a stack. And then it shuffles them one by one. That works really well if you're using objects that are all the same dimensions. It doesn't look quite right with this. And again, you can control the angle, the direction. Uh, if you go to spin, this one's nice. As the name implies, the object will spin out and then spin back in. Control clockwise, counterclockwise, and angle. This one I like a lot. Um, it works better with photos, but for these particular transparent PNG files, it, you know, see it looks a little funky. Uh, if you have photos that are all the same size, this is actually a really neat effect. Uh, a couple more. We have swap. So this actually just takes one and swaps it, just like the transition swap. Very similar. And then thumb through, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just like you're thumbing through a stack of papers. And this one's neat. You can control whether it thumbs to the left, to the right, or alternating. The alternating effect is very nice. You can see left, right, etc. cetera. Uh, and then finally, the last one is the turntable effect, which is actually a pretty neat one. It's kind of reminiscent of the Apple um, cover flow <coughs> effect that you see in the Finder. Um, and you can control this perspective. You see here I'm tilting it. Um, I like to tilt it right about there. And you can control whether it goes clockwise or counterclockwise. Now remember, as you're playing with this, you can also increase and decrease the size of the uh, animation. I like to make it as, as big as I can um, to get a really powerful effect. Let me show you what this one looks like. And it's a pretty neat effect. You can see them fading off in the background there. Kind of neat. Uh, so it's a lot of fun to play with. It's super simple to do. Let me just refresh your memory again as to what I did. I selected all of my images. I copied them, Command C, and I pasted them, Command V, right on the slide. And then while they're all selected, I just go and select my action. And it will automatically format them for me, put them into place, um, and get them all set to go. So it's just one of the many powerful animation uh, effects built in uh, to Keynote. Fun to play with. Enjoy. Thanks.